Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is about something that addresses an issue that a lot of users have, and that is how to add more storage to your system in a way that is flexible, fast, and efficient. So we have the Data Robotics Drobo S today. The Drobo is not a new technology by any means, but this is the first time we've covered it in depth on this show, and we're gonna show you the flexibility that this solution affords you. Now, while a simple solution may be to take your system and go, okay, you got one storage drive, it's full, you throw in another storage drive and you start putting data on it. But that is not always an ideal solution because what you're doing is you are setting yourself up with more points of failure. The more drives you have with separate non-backed up data on them, the less safe your data is overall. So what Drobo allows you to do is plug this external box into your computer. So we're just using USB 3, although you can also use eSATA or Firewire. And then you fill up the Drobo with multiple drives. What the multiple drive solution allows you to do is back up the data automatically using a proprietary type of RAID. It's sort of like RAID, but it's not really RAID to ensure that even if OneDrive physically fails, you won't actually lose any data. So it automatically sets up the RAID. It warns you when you need to add more drives. It automatically extends the single storage volume so you don't have to remember which one's on the D drive and which one's on the X drive. No, it automatically expands your storage volume. It's toolless auto formats the drives, you can configure automatic backups, and yes, I do have a list down here because this was a lot to remember. And finally, it has an easy to use management program. Now the first thing you do once you connect your Drobo to your computer is install the Drobo dashboard. The Drobo dashboard can be used to manage multiple Drobos. In this case, we have just one Drobo, the Drobo S 5 Bay storage appliance. Now, I mentioned it has some advantages over RAID. So it uses its proprietary RAID to keep your data safe. That's all fine and cool. It's easy to expand because when you run out of space, you just add another drive. But one of the biggest disadvantages of RAID is that you are pretty much required to use all identical drives if you want the best reliability and the best performance. Drobo has no such requirement. So we are going to be achieving our storage capacity today by installing a bunch of random drives. So I have three that match. I have three Seagate Barracuda three terabyte drives. I have another Seagate Barracuda, but this is a two terabyte drive. And then I have a completely different drive. This is a Western Digital two terabyte black drive. Now. With these five drives, we are spanning two different capacities, two different performance classes with the black drives and the regular drives. We are spanning advanced format drives. That is all the three terabyte drives are advanced format. And this is an older two terabyte black that is not an advanced format drive. So we are going to demonstrate the flexibility of the Drobo. The first thing that the Drobo dashboard tells us is Drobo does not detect any hard drives. Please insert a hard drive immediately. So we'll show you how to do that. Installing a hard drive in the Drobo is really simple. You take off the magnetic front cover and you pick a drive at random. In this case, we're gonna take one of the Seagate three terabyte drives and you line it up correctly, which isn't necessarily easy, and kinda wiggle it a little bit. I wouldn't mind if they had drive rails on it just to make the installation process a little bit smoother. You might wanna hold the, uh, the clip here out of the way. There we go. And it clicks into place. Then why don't we take uh, one other drive because we tried this off camera once already and what it does if you put in only one hard drive is it gives you an error message in the dashboard that says right now your data is not being protected and they're right because unless you have more than one drive installed in the Drobo you're not getting any redundancy and you might as well have just thrown that drive into your PC. As soon as you put in more than one drive it will start to work its raided, fake raid magic to ensure that your data is safe. We've got four of our five hard drives installed in the Drobo. I left one of them out so I can show you guys something cool later. But for now, I wanna show you the software setup side of things. So here you can see we've switched to list mode where we can see our Drobo S with 6.34 terabytes of capacity. Now this is a strange thing. It shows us both used and free capacity at zero bytes. That's because if we go to capacity and tools, we haven't added, yeah, we haven't added a new volume yet. So we just have to Reboot the Drobo device, which will just take a moment, and we'll be back. The reboot took about two minutes. We go to capacity and tools again, and we get a few different options for how to format the device. We can either go with NTFS or NTFS. 
These are two different ways of doing MTTFS. One is a more legacy way that is compatible with Windows XP, but limits the maximum size of the volumes you can create. So not that great for something that you want to scale in the future and add lots of high capacity drives to, like say for example a Drobo. But if you have Windows XP machines, then you're stuck with it. The other one is FAT32. Now FAT32 also has limitations in terms of the reliability, the performance, and the maximum file size. So that is more useful if you're going to be connecting to a PC and a Mac. It is compatible with both systems. We're going to be going with the standard NTFS for attaching directly to Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows Server 2003, or newer versions of Windows. We are also going to create our maximum volume size. So our volume is going to be 16 terabytes and you should select a volume size that will be large enough to contain all your data for the foreseeable future. So we're going to set it to the biggest possible thing because maybe we're going to take out that two terabyte drive and add another three terabyte drive in the future. Who knows what's going to happen? So we're going to go with that and then we wait for the drive to be formatted. Now Drobo uses a custom proprietary way of formatting this volume. So understand that you can't just pull one of these drives out of the Drobo, put it in a system or in an external enclosure and read parts of the data off of it. It doesn't work that way. You will always need to use your Drobo in order to access this data. We're going to set our Drobo to drive Z. We're going to call it Drobo. We're going to click next and we're going to format it. The volume's formatted now and you can see we end up with 6.33 terabytes total. We can also check the usage tab under capacity and tools to see how your storage is being used. So we've got a 3 terabyte plus a 2 plus a 3 plus a 2 equals 10 terabytes or 9.09 .09 terabytes actually. And then we are using 6.33 terabytes available for data and 2.76 terabytes for protection. So once we are finished with that, we can also check out some of this other stuff. So we see volume Z with a max capacity of 16 terabytes. We see the status of the Drobo overall. Now these lights are also indicated on the Drobo unit itself and the whole color code for them is actually on the inside cover of the front plate of the Drobo. So you can very easily check and see what any light color or combination of light colors means. Also that bottom bay is still empty. We can check our settings. General, dual disk redundancy will give you, oh, neat. Protect this device against up to two simultaneous drive failures. Cool. Provides more data protection, but uses more disk space. You can also set the disk drive spin down in order to save power and make it run quieter. And you can dim the lights on the device. Cool. OK. And finally, Drobo copy. So if you have multiple Drobos, you can copy between them. And dashboard preferences give you some preferences for the dashboard, obviously. So now let's get into the demo part. This is the part that's actually interesting. So first, we're going to take a big old whack load, 1.88 gigs. So that's about uh, 2 gigs of video footage. And we are going to copy it over to the Drobo. And we're going to do something really cool while that's copying. We're actually going to add an additional hard drive to the Drobo showing that not only can you scale the storage of the Drobo very, very easily, but you can do it very conveniently even while you are using it. So you're going to see it's, uh, let's do this demo in real time. Let's see how the Drobo does because we haven't actually tried this yet. So there we go. It's still copying the data. There we go. And we have added a fifth drive. Pretty cool, right? The green light means it's ready to rock. So let's go ahead and go into the Drobo dashboard and see how that's detected. Capacity and tools, haha, 13 terabytes total up to 9 terabytes of total storage. Very cool, am I right? Now for my second miraculous feat, I'm going to start playing back HD video. Just going to resize this to a more reasonable size so you guys can see the Drobo dashboard as well. And then while we are playing video directly off the Drobo, we're going to go ahead and just remove a drive outright. Bam. So you can see here, referencing my handy dandy key, don't remove this drive has now shown up for all four other drives. And there's a message on the computer that says Drobo cannot currently protect your data against failure because it has to rebalance the data. However, our video playback has not stopped. That means even while you are using Drobo, whether it's the Drobo S, which we have here today, or a Drobo FS, which is the network storage appliance, or even the lower end plain Drobo, which is only four bays instead of five bays and fewer interface options, 
even when you have a drive failure, you can continue to use the device and then it will eventually go back to uh, no actions required, system healthy, and you are back on track. You can just go ahead and throw another drive in. So thank you for checking out this NCIX Tech Tips about Drobo. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos from your favorite online retailer, NCIX.com.